Sometimes the best things in life. The beans are cooking with the turkey. Take time. We cook it about a good five hours minimum. And Tiana Washington is learning to trust the timing. Most of this water will boil out. Of her life. Once I really started believing in myself and knowing that, oh, I'm capable of this, you know, I can do this, or uh, maybe I don't have all the tools, or I wasn't given all the information, but I'm just going to try it anyway. The kick and chicken po' boy. We'll make sure we put it in a bag and everything for you. Washington is using her hands. Tomato. To help others. A lot of my employees actually live walking distance from the trailhead, walking over from North Minneapolis. This was my way of creating change. Were you going to get something? The Minnesota native a waffle? owns a restaurant in the heart of Theodore Worth Park. OK. <laughs> called Cajun Twist. I fell in love with Cajun food on Bourbon Street. I take a lot of the menu items that I fell in love with, and I put a twist on them, and I present them here in just a different way. And I'll come back with some more silverware and napkins. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. They just know that they love it, and they come back for it, so. Hence the name. Yes, Cajun Twist. You're going to be at table number two? Okay. Thank I'll bring it to you. Thank you. My first real job, I guess you could say, when I moved was working on Bourbon Street. Louisiana Seafood Gumbo, catfish with fries. But helping. Comes with coleslaw and hush puppies. Is in her family's DNA. Right here, or to go? We moved to New Orleans. Right here. In 2005. Um, to help people rebuild. There was a lot of people who were still struggling um, to rebuild their homes. One of the levees has broken. Hurricane Katrina left people desperate for food, water, and shelter. Tiana's dad was a carpenter and wanted to help families rebuild. So he moved his family to New Orleans. I would collect clothes and do like donations and help people like that. And then my dad, he um, was the one who was helping actually like rebuild the homes. I'd come in and maybe lay tile or <laughs> do something like that. During the day, I'd, I'd help my dad, stuff like that. But then come night, about 6 p.m., I was going straight to Bourbon and I'd be there till like 5 in the morning. And so um, when I worked on Bourbon, I would work in the kitchens. I would work um, serving. And that burger should be ready to be flipped. Well, serving. She picked up recipes and skills, something she will pass on yeah. to her children. All these things I physically did, you know, and I know that it's because I had good parents that showed me how to work hard. That's Bruce's coffee. I'm doing the best to teach my kids that actual physical labor and hard work is still valued. Tiana says her father passed and didn't get a chance to see the opening of a restaurant, but knows he would be proud because not only is she a business owner, but she also installed the tile at her restaurant in the kitchen helping out that day we were there, Tiana's mom. Meanwhile, it's open daily from 7 to 9, and they also serve breakfast.